This is Tasif Sheikh again back guys. Yes, it's Friday evening, Friday night and now we are heading right 10 p.m. Yes, yes, yes. And today, you know what? It's the day 20. Yeah, that is really amazing. Okay, now great. So we are into this day 20, but now guys, we have to get more serious about it. Okay, like you guys have done the goal setting, goal identification. What are your goals in these four different aspects? What were those four aspects? The personal development goal, the financial goals, the adventure goals, and the fourth one, the giving back or the contribution goals. We identified a lot of goals across all these areas as wild as possible. But now, if you have a vision of like, I want to do something in five years, your brain is really a drama, guys. So if you say five years, all of a sudden your brain is going to relax. Okay, five years, it's a long time. I would start it later. You need to understand how your brain works and accordingly you have to take actions. That's where we came up with the second approach. Goal setting done. But what should be your goals which you want to achieve in this coming one year? So we have these goals in front of us. Where and good, we have it defined. One year goals, targets set. Now what your next step is? You need to decide for yourself. Okay, and that's where we even wrote down two things. All the reasons of the world why you should achieve your goals. We wrote it, uh, we have written down all those reasons. All the reasons for which it's a must for you to achieve these goals. And guys, you need to set yourself high targets. Your potential is huge and you need to set yourself high targets. Don't count yourself like, okay, I cannot do it types. It's possible for everybody. It's up to your imagination how you want to set it up. So we found out the reasons, the reasons why it is must for you to achieve goals and believe those reasons from heart. Okay. And the second aspect, what we figured out, all the reasons, what is the problem that you would be if you don't really achieve it by the end of this one year? The pain part. Okay. The pain part. And guys, this is what you need to accept and understand now. Okay. Once you made a decision, you have just written down your goals that I want to do it. Now ask a question to yourself, was that just a preference that it's okay even if I don't do it, not a problem, it's fine, I've taken my stand, I've done some goals, paperwork done, all good and even it's, is it that casual guys really? Ask it to yourself, are you casual enough Okay, fine I've done my part, I know my goals, now let's see even if I don't get it that's fine, is that your attitude? or? You are committed to achieve your goals. That's the question you need to ask. Are you just stating a preference or you are committing? There is a big difference between the two. Stating a preference, that means even if you don't get it, that doesn't affect you at all. If that is your plan for achieving goals, let me tell you right now, you are wasting your time. If it is just a preference that even though not achieving is going to be not affecting you at all, if that's your state, believe it, you would not be achieving these goals. You have to have the other section. You have to have the more dominant section, which is your commitment to achieve it. We need your commitment, your dedication to achieve it. And that's where you have to take a decision today. It's no longer casual. It's no longer a preference. Weak people do preference, strong people, those who believe in themselves, they take commitment, they take ownership, they take responsibility, they take accountability that if I don't achieve this, then I am supposed to be blamed for that and next year I would be looking at myself in an ashamed manner that I took some promise, I didn't execute it. That's the decision which you have to make right now. We have defined the goals. We have set up the goals, but is it a preference or is it a commitment? Now you have to decide it. Now you have to decide it very strong. There is no going back guys. Once you have made this decision, it's like a thousand percent you are in the game and there is no way in the world that you are not going to achieve it. There is no slight possibility of not getting it guys. It's that simple, it's that straight. That's the commitment, that's the promise and ownership responsibility. You need to push it on yourself. And what I'm speaking right now, you should be pumped up in the same way every single day. The day you leave your goals lazy, know that you're getting into your downfall and your goal achievement thing would just be a myth and by the end of the year, you will not get there. 
so that's the commitment which we have to do and that's where we are strategizing so now today once we have written the goals cut out all the possibilities of preference you are no longer a weak person there is a stronger heart inside you which is determined for your own success with that heart decide decide that i am going to make my goals possible that's a decision which i am making okay and then you have taken this decision feel the pain of not achieving it on every single goal the four pillars what happens if you don't achieve it feel the pain with that okay what you would be losing in life if you are not really achieving your goals and remind of this failure attitude to yourself every single day that would keep pushing you 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 to keep doing it and think of the brighter side what would happen if you really achieve your goals we all know you have put in your time you have done some brainstorming to write down your goals and i have seen it and you have seen it all your goals are beautiful are amazing and they are challenging enough they are not easy it's tough it's challenging but it needs a determined person a strong body a strong soul to go and get it regardless of what is happening in the world so that's the decision which you have to take today